Three Little Vikings by Bethan Wolven. Deep in the forest, the Viking folk were celebrating their latest hall of treasure. All except best friends Ebba, Helga, and Ren. They were playing when they heard a strange noise outside. Chieftain, Helga said, there's something scary outside. Nonsense, the chieftain replied. I know that it is just a thunderstorm. I know best. Later that night, the three girls were tucked up in bed reading spooky stories. They huddled together while the rumbling and crashing continued outside. Do you think it's really just a storm? Wren whispered. Eventually, the ruckus stopped and the girls drifted off to sleep. The next morning, Helga, Ebba, and Wren woke to find their village in chaos. It looks like something very big was here, Helga said suspiciously. Nonsense, said the chieftain. I know it was just a fox, and I know best. So the girls went about their day, playing until dark. As they left for home, a loud roaring erupted from the forest, and trees tumbled to the ground right before them. What was that? Helga asked nervously. I'm not sure, Ren said, but it sounds like something angry. Dashing back to the village, the girls hurried to find the chieftain. A big, angry, noisy creature is roaming the forest, destroying the trees, Elba told him. Nonsense, boomed the chief. I know the trees are just rotten, and I know best. But it's real big. Elba said louder. Stop bothering me. The village treasure has gone missing and I must find out who is behind it. It was probably the same creatures who knocked down all the trees, Ebba said. Nonsense, the chieftain shouted. I know it was just some pesky ravens and I know best. The chieftain said he knew best, but the girls hadn't seen a storm or a fox or a rotten tree or any thieving ravens. So they decided to investigate for themselves. I think we need to go back to the woods, Ebba said. Helga, Ebba, and Wren followed a set of footprints into the forest, but they led to nothing. We might find the clue in my book about spook creatures, Ebba said. The little Vikings nestled onto a tree branch and checked Ebba's book for answers. What about this one? Wren asked. It only comes out at night. It leaves a trail of destruction. I love the shiny things. It's a troll! Run! Safely back in the village, Helga, Ebba, and Wren wasted no time at all finding the chieftain. There's a troll on the loose! They yelled. We saw him in the forest! Nonsense! replied the chieftain. I know trolls do not exist, and I know best. But the little Vikings had an inkling that Ebba's book knew better, so they hatched a plan to defeat the troll themselves. Carrying a shiny pot of gold, Helga, Ebba, and Wren walked deep into the forest until they heard a familiar bashing and smashing. Hey, you! shouted Wren. Sure enough, the troll couldn't resist the treasure. The horrid troll growled and chased after the little Vikings until he saw something even shinier than their pot of gold. It was the chieftain's armor. Help! It's a troll! he shouted. The troll chased the chieftain up a mountain and straight into... The dawning sun. As golden rays fell on the troll, he transformed into wood, his roots burrowing deep into the ground. Got him? cheered the little Vikings. That night, the village gathered before an unusually large fire as the little Vikings shared the story of their triumphant victory. We beat the troll, the girls cheered, because we know best.